everyone. Okay, so I wanted to say thank you, first of all, um, before I explain all of this, um, because we finally, we actually hit 105 subscribers, I think, or we hit over the 100 subscribers. Um, so that's our first step towards that milestone of hitting that thousand um, mile mark. Um, but yes, so thank you guys so much. Um, you know, we're hoping to get closer to the thousand to um, kind of bump up that prize, but this is like a good step there because we still have like a month to go. That being said, to explain what's going on here, this is not a wig. <laughs> I woke up one day thinking, you know what I need in my life? Magenta color hair. So like you can still see it right there, sort of. But um, so my niece, she's um, just graduated cosmetology school and she did such an amazing, amazing job. I just, um, she turned it like, she dyed it this like magenta color and I loved it. But the only thing was I got tired of waking up looking like my head just got bashed in. So, yeah, you can see our banner back there. <laughs> no promo. <laughs> well, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm going to strip the color out, blah, 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 without consulting her, thinking, you know what, it's gonna, it should be easy to do. It's not a permanent hair color. Got this kit that was meant to, like, strip semi-permanent hair colors, um, only to find out once it turned, like, this purple electric blue-ish color that the color was the stripper was not meant for um like the hot vivid colors it's meant more for like normal hair colors normal oxidized colors let's just put it that way so yeah i just i you know i don't want to damage my hair any more than i have so i'm just gonna let it kind of go for a while let's see if I, you know it'll wash out for the most part but i was yeah com completely mortified i was like oh my god so yeah, I've got like My Little Pony's back end, it looks like, coming out of my hair. So that being said, um, as a thank you for you know helping us hit that 100 mark, um, I decided that at first I had wanted to you know go ahead and show off our collection, but we literally have so many in our collection. I mean, it's not like, it's not like BHB numbers, okay, but for a normal, you know, household, it is quite a bit of animals. And for a normal video, it's quite a bit of animals. So I decided, you know, since I asked you guys what your favorite morph was, that I would go ahead and show my top 10 favorite um, out of the collection just to keep the video, you know, watchable. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and um, show them, maybe talk about a few plans we have for some of them. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can get some ideas for your future combos too. So let me go ahead and um, show my guys off. Okay, so this girl right here, I love her. She is just a pretty much a basic Mojave that is 100% het for, you guessed it, clown. But just look at her. She's just beautiful. Beautiful girl. So she's reaching, you know, the thousand grams. So, you know, but next, not next year, but the year after that, she'll be breeding, hopefully. I'm um, not in a rush to get any of my girls to size. Um, they'll get there when they get there. It's just their safety that really matters to me. I love her. Like, she's so pretty. And she's escaping now. She's probably not going to be happy with me because I found her. <laughs> I mean, just a gorgeous girl. And I'll have to hurry up and put her up because she's... Not very happy about being in this really, really blinding light, but this is Ivy, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned her name. I try to name everybody because they just remind me of things, and I don't remember why I named her Ivy, but she is pretty, very pretty for just a normal Mojave. Okay, so this guy, his name is Smiley, and the reason I named him that was um, when I unboxed him, he just had like, he had a pattern somewhere. Um, probably not gonna find it right now, but um, he's a GHI pastel, by the way. But he had a pattern on him that just looked like a big old smiley clown face, so I went ahead and named him Smiley, which he ironically is kind of a grouch. He is just looking to attack me. <laughs> I was thinking, um, as they get older, obviously they have ways to go, but um, to put him to the leopard um enchi that i have the leopard pastel enchi and see what they what kind of babies they make i really love both of them i think they're like great examples for what they are 
Do I find the smiley face? No. And like I said, he is not in the smiley mood. I can see it already. <laughs> Zoom in there. So this is a GHI pastel, up close, for those of you that have not had the opportunity to see that. Like I said, he's breathing like, come at me bro. He's just waiting for me to stick my hand in there and get bit, which it'll probably happen, I mean. That's him, smiley. Okay, so this guy initially was not on my top 10, because I, not that I forgot, but you know, like I said, we have quite a few. And then I saw him, his tub, and thought, yeah, he needs to be. So he is 100% het for clown, it's a lesser. His name's Zeus. And um, I got him because he is a paradox, and everybody that knows me knows that I am like, I don't care if it's normal stuff like this, or just the wild stuff, I, I love paradoxes. Um, even if it's not a genetic thing, I just love him. And so if you look at him, um, let me see if I can bring him over here. Um, even his little eye. There it goes. Above his eye, that's like a little paradox spotting. and Right there around his back. So he's 100% head for clown, but even if he never grooves out, I think he's so neat. Like he'll never leave just because he's just one of those oddballs. <laughs> I love it. So that's Zeus, my paradox, 100% het clown, lesser. Let's see if this focuses any better. But this guy is a little male, and his name is Skittles. He is a Candino, um, Candino pin. And he's so pretty. I'm um, gonna hope that I don't get bit here. Cause a lot of these guys are just, you know, coming off of feeding. But look at that face. So it's the Candino pin. No real plans on this guy. Um. Just because, like, how do you perfect this, right? Unless you put it to, like, a pied. <laughs> so that might be, like, down the road, one thing that we do. This is one that I would, you know, appreciate suggestions if you guys have them. Because <laughs> he's so pretty. We do have him up available, but if he stays, he stays. I'm not sad about keeping this one. So if you ever wondered what a Candino pinstripe would look like, that's it right here. Okay, and this one is my little champagne ringer female. I named her Pumpkin, because <laughs> I am going to keep this one. This one is just too precious to like let go. Come on, Pumpkin. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with her, so we just decided to hold on to her. Just because I feel like she's too light to be a yellow belly, but who knows? Like, honestly, I haven't hatched enough to know what the heck I'm doing. Um, and because the pairing was a puma, I kind of think, well, maybe there's spark because of how similar spark and yellow belly look like. And because of the. That really. It's hard to see. But you can see, like, the little spots along the side and obviously the ringer. But I've seen yellow bellies like that as well. So, um. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see what she proves out to be. And no, her tail did not disappear. That is the ringer. <laughs> but there's Pumpkin. You can see that the ringer kind of goes up in there. Sorry, guys. All right, so this female is Crystal, and you can kind of guess why we called her that. Got her from Garrick Demeyer. Oh, she's so neat. I really like her. She's getting big very fast, and 
what can I say? So, um, for those of you that don't know, I believe crystals are um, specials, and I think she's a special Mojave. And a beautiful one at that. Look at that. She's just gorgeous. So there she is in all her glory. Crystal. I believe right now she's sitting at close to 400 grams. If any of you guys were like kind of wondering. And I think with her, obviously, we can't go wrong pairing her with anything. But um, thinking spot nose and um, leopard is the way to go. Just to get a lot of pattern into this before we put it into clown, obviously. I can already tell this is going to be more than ten, top 10, but I think I really have like 12 to 15 that are like my top favorites. <laughs> so just be prepared for that. It may be a little bit more than top 10. And this guy's a little bit hard to see right now. I'll wait till he kind of comes out of his shell. <laughs> but um, this guy, it, long story short, we bought him from an online auction group that... Um, Honestly, I wouldn't recommend them, but I mean, he is gorgeous. I'll, t I'll give him that much, but um, he has been a pain to get started. Um, he, we, we found out finally what specifically he needs. His name is Shakespeare, by the way, and when you see his head pop out there, I think it'll kind of, I don't know, he just looked so fancy. I just, that's the first name that popped up when I saw his little face. He's gorgeous. I love him. But um, he was such a pain to get started, and actually we bought a couple more on auction um, from these people, and they passed within like a couple of weeks. So, you know, um, if anybody wants to know, you know, who they need to avoid, just kind of give us a, an email, like shout out to us at um, Lone Star Animal Adventures at Yahoo.com. But um, this guy, you know, we were able to at least keep him eating. Um, now, barely, we've gotten him to the point where he is accepting any meal, like he's gotten ravenous. And I think that has to do more with the fact that he's finally entered, like, that breeding stage. Um, but he won't be breeding anytime soon, just because I, I really want to make sure that he's, because of how much we struggle to get him to size, um, that he's healthy more than anything else. So this is Shakespeare. He is what's called a pinto pied, which is a combination of Russo and pied ball. And I love him. He's beautiful. It's just... Um, kind of disappointed with the people that um, we bought them from just because they're a big name in the community and um, it just kind of sucks that other people are getting this quality of animal and really um, honestly ball pythons are not all that hard to get started. I know that um, they can be finicky eaters but um, between this one and the other two or three that we um, had horrible luck with um, I'm starting to think there's uh, other things going on there but as far as his you know looks he's gorgeous I mean hands down everybody's favorite with that one little spot on his tail but um as far as the quality I, I don't I don't know what to say other than um it took a lot it took a lot of us trying to figure him out changing things every you know month so that he wasn't stressed out and um we finally got it down for Mr. Shakespeare so as far as breeding goes um within the next year he's not going to be breeding um, which is a shame because he's gorgeous, but um, we really just want to make sure that he's healthy before we, we put him out there to, you know, pass that gene along. We wanted to make sure it wasn't genetics, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's more something else. So, um, yeah, this is not the video for that, but he is just, I love him. He's been a pain, but well worth it. <laughs> a beautiful pain. Hello, Shakespeare. Excuse my magenta colored fingertips, they're still stained from my journey. But yes, this is Shakespeare. It's gonna have to be a quick one, but this is Amy. She's a lithium pastel. And again, this is why I can't really pick which is my favorite because really, I mean, she's she's just gorgeous. 
Lithium Pastel. Blue Eyes. I mean, you can't really go wrong with her. She is trying to get away, so forgive me for that. She's finally pretty much at breeder size. She's close to 2,000 grams at this point. I mean, we gave her an extra year to get into that breeding age and size just because I, I don't, like I said, I'm not in a rush. And there she goes. This girl is really, again, I'm not going to say my favorite, but it is up there on my tops, top favorites. It's kind of hard to pick your favorite when there's so many awesome morphs around, but this girl is a... An auction win as well. I won her from somewhere. I really love their auctions. I know a lot of people have a lot to say about Ben Siegel, but as far as auctions go, I've really always been very lucky there. And I, I'm sure that there's other people that have not been as lucky, and I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But really, as far as we go, we've been buying from them since, I believe it was like 2011. So about seven years on and off, and um, we've just always been very lucky. I'm very grateful, too, for the animals that we've gotten from him. This is one of them. So she was sold as a possible super. I'm just, honestly, I have her labeled as um, just a normal and she leopard, but she's just so gorgeous. I can see why they thought she might be a super. And with her, you know, I, I really, I think I want to put her to GHI. So to have like a GHI pastel leopard um, combo. And then from there, obviously, like my thing has always been clowns. So a lot, like almost everything that I have here, at least female wise, um, eventually will end up with clown in it. Um, but she's just so beautiful. Definitely, definitely up there on my top favorite ones. Again, Enchi Leopard Pastel. Gorgeous lady. And her name is Tyke. Tyke? Tyche? I don't know. Name them all. I name them all after like my favorite superheroes <laughs> or people, things that they remind me of. So the last one, Amy, or the Lithium Amy was named after um, the Evanescence song um, Lithium, obviously. Um, and it just reminded me of the singer Amy. So named her Amy. <laughs> this one, Tyke. Okay, so this girl is just, there's no words to express how much I love her. She, again, just like Smiley, it's not in the mood. I woke them up from their, you know, sleepy time, because, you know, ball pythons are more awake during the twilight hour, so right now they're barely getting back to sleep. So I am sorry, guys. But this girl is just gorgeous. Um, I believe she's a Lucifer pastel yellow belly. Goodness. If if she has anything else, I'll, I'll kind of put it on the screen. But from what I can remember, her name is Aphrodite, and there's like no reason why you can see why she's just gorgeous. I named her that because she's just—I don't even know what to do with her. Actually, I, I won her because I was just in love with her. So that's her with her beautiful green eyes. And again, I really don't know a whole lot about the Lucifer gene, but I, what I, from what I do see, because she's just, again, Lucifer pastel yellow belly, I believe, um, there's a whole lot of, like, striping with the patterns. Um, so, you, you know, like in a normal pastel yellow belly, they wouldn't be this, the pattern wouldn't be this weird, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what we can put her to, to kind of bring out that Lucifer gene even more. Again, maybe she might go to the GHI as well, just to kind of see what comes out of that clutch. Um, but she's just gorgeous. I love her. So there's Aphrodite, y'all. Getting big fast, too. So she's not anywhere near where she needs to be. She'll take years to get to where she needs to be breeder-wise. Um, we just got her this year as a pretty much a hatchling, but she's gonna do some amazing things. So this girl, 
is like insane. I got her from Sandals Exotic. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. So if you guys, I mean, I know he has he just started up his channel a few months ago. So you guys definitely need to check him out. I mean, look at this. I haven't like I'm at a loss of words. Anytime I see her and the bigger she gets, the more beautiful she gets. He just he has some amazing snakes. I I mean, look at that. Named her Nike. After the Greek god, but once she gets into breeding season, I mean, it'll it will stand for the just do it part of it. <laughs> but um, I mean, look at that. So she, for those of you that have not guessed it, is a blackhead pastavi, um, red gene, or blackhead red gene pastavi, and I mean insane colors on this one. I am totally in love with her. I just I don't even know. Every time I see her, I just kind of just stare at her because she's just perfect. I know he has a whole lot more going on with these blackhead, and I know she's pos hit um, for ultra male as well. So let me not forget that. And I don't know if that's what's kind of going through, but it's just she's just insanely gorgeous. I don't think so because I've seen a lot of other stuff that he has produced, and again, just insane babies. Please excuse the dogs. I think they saw somebody from the fence line. <laughs> but yes, she's just gorgeous. Blackhead Pastavi Red Jean, or Red Jean Blackhead Pastavi. I don't know how it's said. All I know is she's insanely gorgeous. I love her. Okay, so this one I think is going to be the last one that I show. Just because I love... This is... Out of all the ones I've shown... Um, her and the little blackhead came from the same breeder, and I they are my favorites. That's what I'm saying. Like, this guy, Sandals Exotics, if you haven't checked him out, please please subscribe to his channel. But, yes, this is Bonnie. Bonnie Blue Eyes. She's a bamboo pastel, pos head ultra male. And I was wrong. Okay, I, I, I had said that the other one was pos head ultra male. She's not. She's just the, the blackhead. Um, it's just blackhead red jean pastavi. This is the one that's head for ultra male. I kind of looked at their cards wrong. Um, this one we got her. She was super tiny. He had, you know, he had said that he wasn't comfortable shipping her, and I was so excited. I was like, yeah, just ship her. And um, he's, you know, he warned me against it, and which I loved, you know, because most of the times, if I mean, if you're, you know, okay with it, they're like, okay, here you go. When I got her, um, she was super tiny, and uh, my my good friend. Um, the one that supplies me with the feeders, um, actually was the one that helped me to assist, like, assist feed her because I had no idea how to do that. So I'm just super happy that, you know, she did and now she's getting quite big. She doesn't refuse a meal anymore. I don't think she realized when, when she hatched that she was a snake. She was like vegan or something and, I mean, to the extent she was kind of an airhead. She'd, um hide out in the top of her Heidi hut and just stare out at the tops. <laughs> she was the sweetest little snake. And now, she's huge. <laughs> but a pastel bamboo. Het Ultima. Pos Het. Which if you guys don't know, Pos Het just means it's a 66% chance per egg um, that that's going to prove out. Not that the clutch entirely is going to be 66%. So, um, When you hear people proving things out on a 33% pos head, is it's actually amazing because each egg only had a 33% chance of proving, and I've heard of that, and I think that's amazing. I love it. You just never know what you're gonna get with genetics. All right, I think she's gonna be the last one for today. So this is Bonnie. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I do not have my helper here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all have a good one.